In this video, we're going to learn to take a coordinate vector with respect to one basis and rewrite it as a coordinate vector with respect to a different basis. So given two bases, B and C, and a coordinate vector for one of the bases, we'd like to find the coordinate vector with respect to the other base without finding what the vector V is. We want to go straight from here to here without any intermediate steps. Let's investigate this question via example. Suppose you're given that the coordinate vector of 1, 3 with respect to some basis B is 2, negative 7. R2 is a two-dimensional space. So this basis must contain two vectors, B1, B2. And what this equality is saying is that the vector 1, 3, is 2b1 minus 7b2. Well, if this equality is true, then certainly the coordinate vector of 1, 3 with respect to the basis C is the coordinate vector of 2b1 minus 7b2 with respect to the, um, the basis C. The coordinate transformation is an isomorphism. It's linear. So this is 2 times the coordinate vector B1 with respect to C minus 7 times the coordinate vector B2 with respect to C. So I'm using linearity here. Again, I'm saying this is a transformation. I mean, it's not written using transformation notation, but it's a coordinate transformation. Those are linear. So this transformation applied to a difference is the difference of the transformations. And we can pull constants 2 and C out. And now this is a linear combination of vectors. So a linear combination of vectors is a matrix 
high is a vector. In particular, it's the matrix with these vectors as columns times the vector of coefficients. Now, this vector 2, 7 was the coordinate vector with respect to B. So what this equality is saying is that the coordinate vector with respect to C is this matrix. Times the coordinate vector with respect to B. So going from here to here can be done via matrix multiplication. Let's nail that down as a theorem. Suppose we have a basis B and another basis C, and we create the matrix whose columns are the coordinate vectors of these basis elements with respect to this other basis. Look at this notation. I'm not quite sure why we write it this way with an arrow from the right to the left, but you see there's an arrow from B to C, and that's because we can use this matrix to take a coordinate vector with respect to B and turn it in to a coordinate vector with respect to C. via matrix vector multiplication. This matrix times the coordinate vector with respect to B gives the coordinate vector with respect to C. Don't find inverses, but I might as well mention you can also talk about going the other way. You can talk about taking a coordinate vector with respect to C and writing it in terms of B. And this matrix is the inverse of the matrix we just wrote down. However, if you wanted to find this matrix, tricks, you wouldn't use inverses. That's never the correct way to do things. You'd find this using Gauss-Jordan elimination. 
Um, I mean, in the same way that you'd find this using Gauss stored in elimination. To find coordinate vectors, you have to solve vector equations. You do that using elimination.